Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from QuickSkeek, and in this video, we are going to walk through Google Ads bidding strategies, how we roll out every single campaign from the from our default, our default bidding strategy, and we're going to go into more advanced tactics like smart campaigns, uh, maximize conversions, target CPA, and when is the time to use those and how they actually work. Okay guys, we're in a live client campaign here. I'm gonna kind of walk you through how we initially roll out our bidding strategies with um, new clients that are coming onto our Google Ads platform here that we're managing. So before I get into that, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, we drop daily Google Ads content. And if you're watching this video and you're interested in more bidding strategies, there is a playlist. It should be recommended video at the end of this one. So make sure you continue watching through to that because there's a, a huge playlist of all of the different um, bidding strategies and I explain each one in detail and how we've used it, our experiences in the past, all that stuff. So keep watching that too for more information. All right, so we are in a live um, account here. This one I actually just switched back to maximize clicks. It was on Target CPA, <clears throat> but because of the budget, Target CPA was kind of choking out here and um, our impression share was like less than 10%. So I kind of just went back to max clicks and raised our bid cap to get more impression shares. We can get more clicks in the door because I know this page converts at 25%. So that's why 22% here, but normally it's 25%. So I want to get um, I want to get more traffic through the door, and we are being choked by Target CPA. But let's assume this is a brand new campaign. This is exactly how I would do it anyway. What I would do is go in when I'm setting the bids. At the, I go to the settings, campaign settings, bidding. I always start every brand new. So I should say this first. There's two options when you start when you're launching a Google Ads campaign for lead generation. You either start with maximize clicks, or you go manual CPC for faster to market um, coverage, right? Because maximize clicks is a Google's algorithms auto bidding for you to get their main objective of the algorithm is to get the most amount of clicks every day within your target budget which is fifteen dollars a day which is not a lot for for this campaign so I'm telling Google do whatever you want get as many clicks as you want but I set a max cost per click bid limit which you should always set if you're using maximized clicks otherwise you're giving Google free reign to bid whatever the hell they want and trust me it may you may think it's crazy but they will bid a hundred dollars a click they will that's just what it happens it's, so make sure you keep them under control with setting a maximum cost per click bid limit now you might be wondering, well, how the hell am I supposed to figure out what to put this number as? Easy. All you would do is go into the Keyword Planner. I'm going to show you right now. So come up to Tools and Settings, Keyword Planner. Again, this is a CPR classes. They're trying to get CPR classes, the client. CPR class, CPR training. Um, so those are the main themes of this campaign. So I'm gonna you're gonna put your main theme keywords. So if you were a roofer, you would put roof repairs, roof insulation, re-roofing, or roof replacement, whatever. So this guy, CPR class, CPR training, get results. Now Google's going to tell you how to bid aggressively, right? So here's our two main keywords. It's telling us the top of the page bid, the low range, is a dollar per click to a dollar oh five per click. The high top of the page high bid is three dollars a click to 314 a click so you're gonna take the average right so you can put as many theme keywords as you want and what I'll do is I'll take them and I'll average them all together and that's the number I set I always take the top of the page high end just because I I need to get the traffic quickly and I don't have time with these lead generation clients to slowly scale them up because then they're like what the hell's going on after two weeks of running and are their campaign still in learning phase with max clicks bidding strategy, right? So to do it quickly, I always set the top of the page high range as the, the ceiling for the max clicks algorithm. So that's just a tip that you should definitely implement when um, setting a maximized clicks on a campaign. That's how we find this number. And you can see here, I'm super aggressive. I'm way over bidding. And that's because I want this thing to, I want this thing to move quickly. You obviously don't have to do this, um, but I want to get this thing moving quickly. And this doesn't even mean Google is going to spend $7.88 a click. They're not. It's just not. They don't cost this much. But I'm telling them, listen, do what you got to do. 
I want the I want the traffic, but do it within reason, and I put a seven dollar cap on it. So that's what you should do when um, launching a brand new Google Ads campaign. We either do it with maximized clicks, like I just explained here, or we do it with manual CPC. So if we go into here, manual CPC. I usually don't start it with enhanced conversions because that goes off of conversion data. And if it's a if it's a brand new campaign, you don't have conversion data, so that's important. And when you choose this way, then you can set your bids. So if I if I choose this way, watch this. We go into ad groups. I set the bids for what what the keywords are going to be, and I can set them at the ad group level. So to do that, I just check this box here, and it checks all my ad groups. Edit, change bids. Amount, set new bids, amount, and I just set the bids that way. So instead of having an algorithm though working for you and you know trying to get you the most amount of clicks per per day per budget, now I'm just telling Google this is what the bids are. Get me anything you can up to this point. This is your max CPC, so they're not going to bid more than this, especially if enhanced CPC is not chosen. So this is just a little bit. So this is a strategy for clients who are like, listen, man, I need leads like tomorrow. Like I can't wait for a learning phase with this algorithm. I need I need the leads tomorrow. This takes us to market way faster when you're using manual CPC than, than uh, maximized clicks because there is a grace period in maximized clicks. It does take, you know, I think it's like three to seven days, depending, to ramp up to start getting that, that bigger traffic volume. So if you can wait. I always suggest using max clicks to launch your Google Ads campaign. If you can't wait and you need you need to launch fast and get to market quickly, then do manual CPC. Remember, this is just a start, guys, these two strategies. This is not a long-term strategy. I usually don't run um, max clicks on a long-term basis. The only time I'll do that is if it's just been running for, for months and it's producing results that are within our target goals for the campaign, for the client. Obviously, I'm not going to mess with it if, if we're hitting if we're hitting target or above target. Now, when it comes to smart bidding, if you go back into the campaign settings, I'm gonna walk you through smart bidding. So we'll come up here, we'll go to this, and here you have some smart bidding options. So there's maximized conversions, all right? And it gives you an option to set a target cost per acquisition, or I'm sorry, target co cost per action, which is essentially, you're telling Google, I want leads for $8.20. And do your best, use your algorithm to get me leads at this cost, or a little under, or a little above. But the target is eight twenty, right? So that's what they're suggesting. That's where that number came from. Google's suggesting this should be the target CPA based on all of my campaign data. Now, when you go to use target CPA, max conversions target CPA, is something important to understand. You cannot use this bidding strategy unless you already have at least 20 conversions in the account in the last 30 days. Okay, you have to have conversion data to run this strategy. Otherwise, this smart bid strategy will not work because Google doesn't know what a conversion is in your campaign because they've never seen one before. So they have to have some kind of data to work off of. Obviously, the more data they have, the better, the more efficient their algorithms will be at launching um, the target CPA strategy. So, you know, people always ask, when do you, Rob, when do you guys flip to target CPA though? And the question is, you know, it's hard to explain because sometimes we'll do it quick, we'll do it in 14 days, and then sometimes we'll do it in like 60 days. I mean, it really depends on the campaign and the results they're getting. Obviously, the more data you can collect, the more efficient target CPA will be. You'll get more more lead volume because the big thing that you'll see with target CPA is you'll have really low impression share campaign wide because you're you're putting a cap on Google you're saying listen I want leads for this price I don't care what the volume is I want the leads at this price so if, if you're bidding too if you have this set too low you're like kneecapping yourself and you're only gonna get a handful of leads when you could be getting a lot more if you just raised your target CPA a little bit so that's something to keep in mind. It's a balancing act, just like everything on Google Ads, it's a balancing act. So next, I'm gonna walk you through how to use max conversions without a target CPA.
So max conversions is um, very it's just, it's very similar to target CPA except you're not setting a target. It's the exact same algorithm except you're letting Google you're letting Google set the amount of um, conversions, right? And and the cost per, I should say not the amount of conversions, the cost per conversion. It's going to you have no control over the cost per conversion when it comes to max conversions from this bidding level at least. So how it works. You're telling Google's algorithm, "Listen, I'm spending $15 a day in this example. Get me as many conversions as you can within that $15 per day based on past account history of conversion data you have on the signals, you know, times things convert, keywords that converted, long tail keywords that converted, all the data, it's thousands of data points that the algorithm will analyze to get those conversion signals and, and aggressively bid for you to get conversions. So the main goal of maximize conversions is for Google to get as many conversions as possible within your $15 a day budget. Now, that you could be thinking, like, well, what are they going to bid? They're going to bid whatever the hell they have to bid to get the goal, to hit that goal. So you can you have no control over what the lead cost is. However, I have seen, I have run maximize conversions in, um, oh, my God, at least a dozen different niches. Most recently, auto detailing, and I've seen it do really well, cost per lead wise. I like you're talking like seven bucks, eight bucks, but that's after I you, I only flip this on after I have like ninety days of data of conversion data. I don't typically set max conversions up unless I have a shitload of data, at least like I said, ninety days, because it's just it's going to be so much more effective for you guys the more data it has. And again, this is a strategy as well where it needs at bare minimum 20 leads within the previous 30-day history of the campaign before you could even turn this on. So that's something to keep in mind if you guys want to run some of these smart bidding strategies here is um, you need the data. So my process, the ClickSkeek process and how we use smart bidding, we'll usually start a client on maximize clicks. We'll let that run for 30 to 60 days, 30 to 45, I should say 30, 45, or 60 days. Somewhere in that time frame, we'll let that run depending on how much data we get. When we've had a healthy chunk of conversion data, I'd say at least, at least 30 conversions in a 30-day window. Then we'll usually switch over to target CPA. We'll set a higher target. So we give Google breathing room to get more volume leads through the door. And we'll see how that does. And if that does well, we'll leave it. We won't touch it. If we're hitting targets, we're hitting goals, we don't touch it. If we're like, eh, we can do better, we need more volume, and we have the conversion data, because keep in mind, by the time we're about to flip to max conversions without target CPA, we've already went through max clicks phase. We've got a ton of conversion data from that. We've then moved into target CPA phase. We've gotten a ton of conversion data from that, but we're not getting the volume we need. Next, we'll try max conversions to try and get that volume, uh, that, that flow, that volume of, of lead flow. And usually that does the trick. So that's our process. So the two most important takeaways from this video should be how you launch your campaigns though, right? Either maximize clicks with a bid cap or manual CPC to get to market faster. So that's the takeaway, guys. And the smart bidding, you have to have conversion history. Please, for the love of God, I don't care what you read on the internet, don't just start a brand new campaign on Target CPA. I know I've seen things where people say, oh, if we do that, it works, but I've never seen it work well. And out of the gate, especially. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, uh, that is today's video. You should be getting a, um, a pop-up shortly for a recommended video next. It's gonna be for more bidding stuff. You should watch it for sure. I go through and I break down each bidding strategy and there's a bunch here, look. I'll walk through each one, my experience with it, how it works, and um, kind of break that down for you guys. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.